650, the Blood Connection still needs donations, and they're offering free COVID-19 antibody testing when you give blood. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Piedmont. Good morning, Christine. <coughs> morning. Hey, Fred, absolutely. Yeah, really resistance to that COVID-19 virus. That's what we're talking about this morning. And this is really business as usual when you get, when you give blood, I should say, and you have that donation, you have that done. This is something that would sort of be done anyway. You're giving the blood the same amount, right? Mm -hmm. Allie Van Dyke here, Blood Connection. Explain to me, um, you've had some pretty big lines. We have yesterday, especially we announced this on Monday and we were anticipating that we need people to understand. Uh, we're just asking for their patience right now as we, we get through those lines, but they still need to come out and donate blood and we are offering this free COVID-19 antibody testing. Like you said, looks no different. It's just a regular blood donation. We already take test tubes at the end to be tested for infectious diseases here at headquarters. So nothing's different to the donor except they will get a positive or negative COVID-19 antibody test in their donor por portal seven days, seven business days after that donation. So they simple. will know positive or negative in seven days. Why would they care? Well, we had a lot of donors ask us about this. When the antibody testing came to the surface after the convalescent plasma program, people started saying, wait, can our local blood center do this? And we, we heard those questions and we answered them with this free antibody testing. So what this does is it tells you that your body had some sort of immune response to COVID-19. Doesn't mean you're immune to it. This is important, viewers. And does not mean that you had it. No diagnosis here, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Right. If you want to get diagnosed with COVID-19, you need to go to a healthcare provider. And if you have symptoms, please do not come out to donate blood. This is very important information. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, this began on May 11th, and it's going to continue for the foreseeable future. Yes. Can you opt out? You can opt out. You just need to let us know after your donation that you don't want to be included in that testing, and that's no problem for Very us. Very good. This is happening where? Anywhere you would give blood? Any place that you give blood with the blood connection. So just make sure you're giving with the blood connection, and you will get this for free. Do you need to ask to have this done? You don't. It's going to happen whether you know about it or not. So we're trying to educate our donors now, of course, being with you, making sure they know about it so that they'll know to look for their results in, in a week. And our producer was nice enough to give me a couple extra seconds here. Uh, how do you know if you can give blood or not? I know some people are kind of considering for maybe the first time. Yeah, right? there's a lot of eligibility requirements, but the main ones are you need to be at least 110 pounds and you need to be 16 years or older. So those, those are the two main big ones. And then you also cannot be on an antibiotic currently. Oh, you can come after you're done with those antibiotics but if you have a current infection, it is, you're, you're not able to donate blood at that time. If you want to see all of the eligibility requirements, our website is very useful. I will put their website mm -hmm. at our website, WSPA.com. Very easy, but you are the bloodconnection.org. Yes. So that is very easy as well, guys. Now more than ever, a time to consider giving blood. Back to you. Great point. Thank you, Christine. Julie?